I knew this day would come. I knew that one day this game would be updated and fully released. Here it is. You're going to want to put on a diaper. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Matt Vlad is the name. And Trenches is the game. And in today's episode, we're playing a updated, fully released game known as Trenches. I played this in the live stream possibly about a year and a half ago. And uh, since, I've tried to forget the horrors that this game brings. And if you've never seen this... Buckle up, because it sucks. We're just going to hit start new game. Oh, there's a no jump scare mode, too. Let's go for that one. <sighs> okay, trenches, 1917. I used to love hearing those sounds, my wife's beautiful humming, my children calling me daddy, and the sweet music playing on our phonograph. But hearing those sounds now stirs up Altogether new feelings while I'm only surrounded by tragedy and dead bodies. That is a absolutely horrible picture. I'm just now noticing the guy at the bottom of the screen. Terrorizing. These were some of the worst times in human history, and it still boggles my mind that things like this could even happen. We are in the trenches of World War I. And I'm assuming we're following the story of a man that survived or witnessed horrible things. My heart goes out to anybody that had to witness any of this. Greed, money, banks. That's what it boils down to, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Soldier doesn't fight because he hates what's in front of him. He fights because he loves what's behind him. Wow. Very interesting. Somewhere in the trenches, 1917. We're probably going to want to move to this side of the screen. There we go. Oh, my God. A lot of background music that I don't think we can turn off. Terrible. I cannot imagine. Game by Steel Krill Studios. Okay, so we have our hiding spots. I don't know what that was. There's a note. Let's read or examine. How to survive if left alone or injured in battle. PSA. To be handed out to all the troops in case troop is injured or lost. Number one. Crouch and stay low so enemies won't hear you. Two. Hide under bunk beds and narrow spaces to stay safe. Three. Don't run or you will make noise. Run only when necessary. Number four. Be careful when walking on wooden surfaces since it makes loud noises. Number five. You can cause a distraction by throwing objects such as a bottle. Six, mind your stamina. If you get tired, you cannot run out, outrun your enemies. Number seven, the enemy will hear you breathing. Hold your breath if near them. Eight, oh my God. If enemy is running, it means they are alerted. You should run too. Nine, use your trench whistle. If you are lost and follow the sound, but be careful because the enemy can hear your whistle too. Be careful of your surroundings. Try to escape to a safe to safe ally location and do not lead any enemies. General Yu, Indra, thank you for your service. Thank you, asshole. Thank you. Welcome. Wow. Oh my god. Hit tab. Okay. It's a picture of, I'm assuming, us and our family right behind my head. As you can see. 
Nice little picture. These are my favorite, favorite pictures. These pictures right here. I've got a bunch of them. Love them. Cherish them. They're my, oh my. She's gorgeous. Okay. Examine. What is this? Decapitated and decomposed soldier. Soldier hanged from the waist while wearing a skirt. Done as a humiliation before being executed for desertion. Excellent, excellent. My name is Junior Tommy Ellen. I am a member of the 3rd U Troop Platoon that under the orders of our platoon commander, we were sent out to clear out the trenches. We have been called out on air alarm raids the last few days and holding up here. We lost four of our men from our squad and many more from our platoon. We dragged the wounded men here, but they did not make it. We wrapped them up in sheets. Oh my God. With the little we got and we'll bury them once we start to dig up. The radio and our limited amount of ammo is the only dope we got. Bastards are what they are with their savage killings, sneaking up at night and such wrong methods of a clean fight. We thought this was bad until we saw a couple of them eating a corpse of what I assume is a woman caught up or taken in the trenches. What I saw will never be forgotten, and it will, it says, hunt me till this day, hunt me till the day I die. I think it's supposed to say, haunt me till the day I die. It's a typo. This is why I'm writing this letter, to be cautious and spare a bullet in your pocket, so if you are ever caught, then shoot yourself in the head instead. If anyone from our platoon reads this, you have to get out from the trenches as the enemy knows we are here. Hide from the enemy and get out. I hope you pull through. All safe by the help of God. If there is one, keep moving forward. Wow. I do not remember any of this. It was probably in the game. But this seems a lot more creepy than when the last time I played it. Excellent pictures, too. Okay, looks like we can hide under that bed. What do we got here? I did not know what to expect. I was never afraid of going to war. We all signed up like it was nothing, and now I am here stuck with no way out, injured and sobbing as I write this letter. I keep hearing things in the trenches and seeing things. I am not sure what is real and what is not. God help me. I hear footsteps. Are they real? I hear cries and voices of my mother speaking to me and saying how I'm always a failure, even though she died when I was a kid. I hear my daughter speaking to me. She is not here. Maybe it's all in my head. Are they real or not? What is she doing here? Why? I feel like I'm going crazy. I also see things. I see shadows. I see my mother peeking at me. I see my daughter running away from me. She don't want to hug me, but I love her. And I did this for her. This may be the end for me. Is this what it feels like? A few of us are holded up here, and it feels like we are all waiting for our turn. Some are looking at photos, others writing notes. Some gave up while others kept going. I can't go on further. I hear footsteps again, but are they real or not? This dude is tripping. Tripping. Okay. Door's locked. Find a key. I will try. Okay, so yes, we can run. Makes a little bit of noise though now. I remember I had a strategy for this last time, and my strategy was, I know that if you get caught, it's over. You have to start all over again, so we have to be very careful. I remember that we have to find babies. That's pretty much all I remember, but I do remember that there was a pattern to it. I don't know. We're going to have to figure it out again for sure. And I think we have to trigger the event where the monster comes out. I'm not sure. Aha. There's a baby. Okay. Pretty cool looking baby, if you ask me. Nails and the head and stuff. Yeah. Is that a ladder? Oh, man. I was about to get the hell out of here. We have, like, the shittiest stamina I've ever seen in a video game. Okay, let's keep moving. Interesting. Here we have what appears to be a penisless body 
with a shovel, a fork, multiple forks, a brain, very smooth brain, a key, and a picture. Let's read. Air, evac Air evacuation nurses, Lieutenant Patricka Lavosky, evacuation nurse, Sergeant Ann Portelli. That's amazing. I think that's the thing that, yeah, Ch why does, oh, it's a girl. Oh, okay, okay. Who cares? Let's go. It's breathing behind you. Excellent. Oh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, it's alive now. I'm, I'm moving. There's a baby right there. Okay, excellent. Sirens going off. Oh no. I'm a bit lost. You know. Let's blow our whistle. I heard a baby. Already? <sighs> Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Okay, it's time to open the door. I don't remember that, or, yeah, definitely not that. Cool. And here we go. Follow the entrails, or poop, whatever that is. Okay, collect the strange fetus dolls. Clues. Let's read. Follow the cry to freedom. Find nine. Use whistle to make it cry louder. Footsteps, run. It mimics voices, no arms. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Okay. So I remember in the last playthrough I did on this, I did not use the trench whistle. I literally just walked around and found babies. But this was also such a terrifying game that I wanted to do a YouTube video on it. Oh my god! That, that was a bomb. And I didn't get to. That's cute. So I don't... There's another hiding spot. I don't hear that thing walking around yet. Sure. Uh-oh. Okay. If you look over there at the ear. Testing. Testing. It's blinking. So, yeah. This game utilizes microphone sound. Just going to stumble around. Not going to run. We're going to take our time. Save our, or save our stamina. Just in case. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. We've got to be quiet. Or that thing's going to come and get us. I'm going to move. <laughs> come on. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Come on. I haven't heard a baby cry yet. <laughs> Northeast Trench, okay. We're gonna walk on this. Do it, sure. I'm very jumpy. I'm gonna blow my whistle. Blow it one more time. It's that way. Oh, I see it. Oh, yes. So it shows an indicator. Okay. That was.
was dumb. I hear footsteps now. Dead end. Gotta get around to it. Oh my god. That's one. Now it's walking. Now I hear it. We're gonna walk away from it. So not only does blowing the whistle put out an, an audio signal. But you can see where it is. That thing is loose now. We've got two babies, I think. Yeah. We need seven more. Oh, dead end. Stay quiet. We're going to make it through this. I don't want this to be a video that I cut up a whole lot. I want you guys to immerse yourself in the experience like I am. I want you guys to be fully immersed. Are you fully immersed? I hope so. I really want to blow this whistle, but I'm going to wait to find a hiding spot. <laughs> hiding. see shit. I didn't see shit. Okay, so that means we're not close to the baby. Like even a little bit. So we're going to try to get to the other side of the map find this kid. Get as far away from that thing as possible. My God, dude, we're running in circles. Now we need to make left turns. I'm 
hearing so many things. I don't know if the video's picking it up. Picking it up. But they're so subtle. They're so quiet. Oh, he's running. He's running. I stepped on him. Okay, we're just going to keep moving. I totally forgot about stepping on things. Oh my god, it's so hard to tell where he's at. Flashbacks. I don't know what that was. Okay. Okay. As long as I don't step on a damn creek. Oh. Well, that's cute. I hear a baby. I think. Oh. oh okay. Faceless babies. Okay, they're moving. They're chasing me. What do we have here? My son, George. I miss him so much. The war has separated us, but you will always be in my heart. Sometimes I think about running away to come and see you again, but I know that I could be killed for desertion if I do. Maybe it's even worth it. Wow. Wow. Waiting for it. Faceless baby statues. If I step on something in here, I'm screwed. Yeah, I don't remember those being there. Let's go this way. So, from what I understand, too, is that when we find these babies, we have to find them one at a time. They're not just laying all over the map. You have to find one in order to unlock the next one. Okay, we're back in the northeast trenches. We're going to have to go the literal opposite direction of where we are. So, we're going to make some left-hand turns up here at the corner of the map. Hopefully, just be able to stumble our way. to the other side I hear crying oh great we just stepped on a creek he's running okay we've been here damn it dead end I want to get off this wood thing is still running. game is so disorienting, man. And I knew it. We're not stopping. We're probably about to get caught.
God. This is the most anxiety driven game ever made. I think I just heard a baby. I hear a baby. baby getting close Sorry, bros. Sorry I'm not talking a lot. I can't. It's not my fault. I hear another baby. We already found that. Okay, let's take the other route. Now we're screwed.
Fuck me. Here's the baby. Okay, I'm just gonna let that thing go away. How many babies do we got? We've got four, we need five more. Oh, my nervous system is shot. I hate this game with a passion. I hate it. I've got goosebumps all over my body. Things keep popping out at me. At least now I've got a gun. I'm just gonna let that thing get far away. Here, baby. running.
getting closer. I really hope I don't jump and shoot this weapon. Okay, he's walking again. Here, baby. God. Okay, got another baby. Please find a hiding spot. I think we're okay. Okay, we're okay. I don't want to walk on that. another baby. Fuck. We don't have wire cutters. Fuck. Fucking up so bad. Okay. That thing is right on us. Please don't squeak. Oh. There's a hiding spot right behind us. We need three more babies. <coughs> three more babies. I can't believe we're doing so well. another baby two more babies more babies ah wire thank god we didn't walk up on that we need to find those wire cutters like really bad oh my god man my heart is beating please don't squeak two more babies Got my ear to the ground. I'm focused. You don't know how bad I want to blow this whistle. Fuck. Damn it. Every 
every time. He's running again. Please stop running. in here for a while. Okay. Two more babies. I don't know if this gun actually hurts that thing. I'm not sure. But I'm not going to test it out. This is this like for emergencies only. And I do mean emergencies. <sighs> yep. That's that's a trap. We're going. Fuck. We're going the opposite direction. Beautiful daughters, I love you all. I hope to see you once again after the war.
gotta find that baby. baby we got this it's so hard to hear with all the thunder and lightning gotta stay calm
One more baby. One more baby. He's very close. Very, very close. We've got one more baby. One more. Oh, man, dude. My anxiety is at an all-time high. Trying to keep my ears open. This is a dead end probably. Yes it is. found it. I found all nine babies. Okay. I don't hear footsteps anymore either. Objective. Escape the trenches. What's going on? Find a ladder to escape the trenches. Okay, so we've got to find a ladder. Ladder. Aha. Uh -huh. On October 11, 1917, nine members from the 3rd U.S. Platoon were ordered by their commander to advance forward and clear out the enemy trenches. The mission was unsuccessful after they were ambushed and trapped. Over the course of several days, it is known that the platoon was hiding up in a small wooden bunker. Some of them were shot, while others were captured and tortured. Out of nine soldiers that were sent out, only one made it alive, made it back alive. James R. Johnson, a member of the 3rd Platoon, survived the attack. He managed by sneaking through the trenches and hiding in sight from the enemy soldiers. He, as stated, was the on the blink of death and, uh, gee whiz, at a blink of death at a point where he was hallucinating and also hearing his wife singing and his children's voices. He managed to pull through the finally escaping the trenches on October 17, 1917. He saw horrors that will haunt him to this day. I saw horrors that night. I kept hearing cries, but all I saw was dead bodies. I cried and screamed when I saw my fellow, fellow brothers deceased right in front of me, and I could not do anything to save them. During those times, I did not see the end of the war. I only saw the end of war when I was on the blink of death. 
but I somehow managed to survive. Only my fellow brothers that passed away had seen the end of the war. Only the dead seen the end of the war. I am just a walking corpse. Wow! James R. Johnson was reunited with his family after the end of the war. James and his wife Jennifer were living back in their old home where they grew up along with their now seven-year-old daughter, Jessica, and 18-month-old son, Charles. The family mostly kept to themselves in a quiet neighborhood, working in a small clothing shop, especially given James' reclusive and antisocial behavior after his return. However, filled with guilt and far from being a normal husband and loving father due to the horrors he encountered, James murdered his wife, daughter, and son right after he shot himself in the head on Sunday morning. It is said that James was hallucinating and hearing voices at the time of, his, at the, time of the murder. Local authorities came in the disturbing scene to find the bodies of the family and the recorded uh, player playing the husband's favorite song, which was to evade any communication or commotion. They found the wife with her head and arms chopped off. The daughter and son were both shot to death. His wife was pregnant at the time. Holy crap. I had to read that fast, and I suck at reading. Wow. So even though he escaped, he really didn't escape. Wow. There was a lot of typos in that as well. Thank you for playing. I must say, that is literally the most anxiety-inducing game I have ever played in my life. I know I say that in a lot of my video titles, but this is for real. It's just nonstop heart-wrenching. Uh, running from something really triggers my fear really bad. I think everyone hates running from something. It's the most terrifying thing ever. And... uh Add in jump scares and trenches from World War One, and you've got uh, probably some good old-fashioned nightmares when you go to sleep that night. That sucked. That sucked really bad. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would do me a very, very big favor. You guys have been doing really good on it lately, but it's the only thing that makes the videos spread and grow. It's literally the only thing that helps the videos out. Leave me a comment and hit the like button. I don't care if you subscribe. Uh, I just hope I made a friend today. I put myself through a lot, man. I think I deserve it. And if you want to support the channel, check me out on Utreon. I have a band gameplay series, stuff I cannot put on YouTube because YouTube it seems every month is enforcing policies that make it harder for the creator, especially a creator like me. And that is for the $10 tiers and up. Link is in the description. Utreon, band gameplay series. It's dope. Check out the merch. Merch is hot. It's selling like hotcakes. And it, you know why? Because it's sexy okay and i live stream on twitch on the weekends sincerely guys thank you so much for everything you do i'll see you in the next one i probably won't be sleeping tonight bye-bye